You would not want to sit in the only chair in the Yonkers Roosevelt High School Auditorium. Several hundred seats yet to be installed. So school will open without the traditional space for students to assemble. For this not to be completed, for the kids to come to school, it's unprofessional, so I don't know. When it comes time for physical education, school officials promise the Roosevelt gym floor will be ready, but the locker rooms and the renovated sports field won't be 100% complete until Thanksgiving. We're not going to get into the concept of punishing anyone. We're just going to get into the concept of working collaborative to get the work done on behalf of our kids. Still, the superintendent knows taxpayers want answers. He says the rainy summer slowed work on the field and arranging financing and delivery of materials took longer than anticipated. Take a look at this. The seats for this auditorium have not been delivered yet. Um, so it, there are a lot of moving pieces. And at multiple locations, work won't be finished at Gorton High School by opening day. And School 25 construction will proceed well into the fall, a massive project including a new roof and new entranceway. Many School 25 students will spend time in temporary classrooms while workers rip out and replace these rickety, leaky old windows. The superintendent says it's disappointing work won't be complete by September 6th, but the construction proves Yonkers schools are on the rise after years of building neglect. In Yonkers, New York, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Now the city says adding to the difficulty of those projects, the school buildings involved are average of 80 years old. And